Well, now I'm traveling back. Now, this house, house I'm coming up to on the right here is Dave Voigt's home, and that's where he lives. Well, him and I travel all over the United States on our motorcycles. Well, I had two motorcycles at the time. I had an 87, and uh, he rode the 87, and I have a 94, and I rode the 94. So I got pictures of that trip that we took way back when. And uh, I think we traveled, car makes a lot of noise, traveled about four or five times out west. We went out to Sturgis, that was a fantastic trip. And all through Colorado, all through the Redwoods. And he's up here, somebody's up here anyhow. Or is he, the garage door is open, so I'm gonna go up here and see if he is up here. <laughs> My good buddy, Dave White. Of course, it could be his son, I don't know. But I'll soon find out. I'm gonna knock it off now and wait and see. Well, there was nobody there, so I guess I'll mosey on down the hill. I got a steep hill to go here. I got a little gear, so I won't go too fast down here. Cause I let off the throttle and it slows right down. See how slow I'm going? <laughs> but I'm going, holy clody. There we are, I made it down. But it was kind of rough, a lot of stones. Now I gotta turn up the speed control, and there it is right there. I turn it this way, now I'm on high speed. Now let's see if I can go. There, tell the difference? <laughs> oh, I'm getting used to it. But anyhow, Dave and I, we travel all over the United States. We've been from uh, Maine all the way across to the state of Washington, and down and through Florida, the Redwoods, and back across the countryside. Like I said, we traveled all over, but out there, Sturgis, that was quite a quite a trip. We've been there about three times. Went out there once on a motorcycle, and then again with a motorcycle, and the last time we went out there, we trailered them out. We took a trailer and put the two motorcycles in the trailer and went out. But that trip, we went up into Colorado. I stayed with a niece of mine up there that lives at 9,000 foot elevation. That's where her home is, 9,000 feet. <laughs> and it was nice up there. We enjoyed it. Oh boy, I'm telling you, I sure enjoy myself now. It's a beautiful day. There comes the car and there he goes. But anyhow, I'm enjoying myself taking pictures as I'm traveling. And like I said before, this is what you senior citizens can do with a camera if you want to. Now, you have to like doing it. Otherwise, if you don't like doing, uh, taking pictures, well, then there ain't much sense of you doing it. It's just a waste of time. So you have to like doing it. And enjoy it later on in life, like I'm doing today. Enjoying myself taking pictures. Now, when I get home, I'll look at this and see how I did. And then maybe I'll go in to uh, compare some of the pictures that I took traveling around the United States. And boy, I sure enjoy that, because I can reminisce and I can show people that's interested where I have been and what it's like traveling around the United States. And I'm telling you, the United States is one beautiful place. Like I said, when I was doing my skiing, I traveled over to Europe. And I've been Austria, Switzerland, Italy, all the way down into Rome, in South America, the Baralachi Mountains. I even been to Chile, uh, Australia. I went to Australia too, on the way back from uh, New Zealand. And darn, I went out to the Great Barren Reef and scuba dived. What do you know about that? And I have that on tape. Not me scuba diving, but where I was at doing so. So I have all that to look back on. Uh, there's a nice home. Not too bad. Well, this is my neighborhood anyhow. And this is what it's like traveling around on West Main, Catskill, New York. So I think I'm going to knock this off for a while. And uh, 
wait till I get up here a ways because my hand is getting tired. I'm using my left hand to hold the throttle because <laughs> I got to hold it just the opposite and my thumb is getting tired. But look at those trees ahead of us there. Aren't those something? The shape of them? You wonder how trees can grow like that and why there's so many different. They're all the same type of trees, but look how different they grow and how close together they are. You wonder how the ground can feed all these trees. And well, they're not too close together here, but look at them way up in here, how close they are. Oh, Mother Earth, there's something to feed these trees and keep them alive. Can you ever think about that? Well, I do. I think about all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm a great thinker. I imagine a lot of things. Here comes a car behind me now. And here he comes. And there he goes, a pickup truck. So anyhow, I'm sure enjoying myself today. It's such a nice day. It's not sunny, but it's real warm. <clears throat> well, my battery went dead back <clears throat> Well, my battery went dead back there. So I came home, charged it up a little bit. Now I'm back out on the road again, going the opposite direction. I'm going towards 9W now, and that beautiful home. So I thought I'd uh, see, show you what it's like on the opposite side, or traveling east <laughs> on West Main. There's a railroad bridge up there. Nice home through here. And I'll show you a nice yard up here that has a lot of beautiful flowers on it. But they're not in full bloom yet, but they will be. And I'm telling you, they're beautiful. This guy is really something up here. Well, look at that nice tree there in front of that house. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> That's an old house. That's a four-story basement, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, anyhow, right up here is this home I'm telling you about. And uh, that's not too bad there, but the yard ain't that good, but it's, uh, it's on a hill. <laughs> so what the heck do you expect? Anyhow, this house ain't too bad, but wait till you see the one next to it. It's got nice steps there, but this guy here where them beautiful flowers are, see them up there? Aren't they gorgeous? Now you see this, oh, look at all the birdhouses. And you see just below there, all that line there, how they grow, the flowers. Wait till you see when they were really in bloom, when they're full. It takes up the whole yard. Now that's really something. Well, here we are coming up to 9W. There's the cars, of course. There's a the railroad bridge. Anyhow, this is a fantastic situation here going through this part of the country. I tell you. But anyhow, every morning, I come up this way and I go to the right and go up that hill. And I go up there to the whole donut place, have coffee and donut, and I do that every morning. But I'm gonna go this way this time. And I'll let you hear the traffic and how this scooter rides on this sidewalk. Hear the bumpy bump? <laughs> That's the only bad thing about it. <laughs> it's got hard tires on it and you feel every damn bump it makes. So I'm gonna shut it off till I get down here where the bridge is and take a picture of the water, or the creek, the river. Well, I'm gonna to try to take pictures of this creek, and boy, it's slow. Only problem is the car's going by here, it makes a lot of noise. But it's slow, look at the bare spot up there. On your right here, that's an island. <laughs> and uh, the tide is out. But isn't this gorgeous? Uh, somebody honking at me, knows who I am. But I'm uh, going across the bridge here, so I'm gonna shut it off till I get over there. Of course, there's the regular bridge. Well, anyhow, here's uh, the creek again. Look how wide it is here, huh? And look at how the rocks are showing. So the creek is really low. But here's the island. I'm on the other side. And I'm standing here in the shade. But look at how nice it is out there, huh? Look how calm the water is. 
But the wind is blowing. Nice looking trees over there. Now that area up in there on the other side of this tree, that's a restaurant there. But on the other side of that is a bar. And there's the Charlie's bar. And uh, we used to have some good times there after bowling. Now that's going back in 1970s, I think. <laughs>